Yersinia enterocolitica. Yersinia enterocolitica is a gram-negative, bacillus-shaped bacterium belonging to the family Yersiniaceae. It is motile at temperatures of 22-29 deg C 72-84 deg F, but becomes non-motile at normal human body temperature. Why enterocolitica infection causes the disease Yersiniosis, which is an animal-borne disease occurring in humans as well as in a wide array of animals such as cattle, deer, pigs, and birds. Many of these animals recover from the disease and become carriers. These are potential sources of contagion despite showing no signs of disease. The bacterium infects the host by sticking to its cells using trimeric autotransporter adhesins. The genus Yersinia includes 20 species, Y. aldovi, Y. Alexici, Y. Burkoviri, Y. canarii, Y. enterocolitica, Y. entomophaga, Y. frederiksonii, Y. hibernica, Y. intermedia, Y. christensinii, Y. massiliensis, Y. molaretii, Y. nermii, Y. pecania, Y. pest. Among them, only Y. pestis, Y. pseudotuberculosis, and certain strains of Y. enterocolitica are of pathogenic importance for humans and certain warm-blooded animals, whereas the other species are of environmental origin and may, at best, act as opportunists. However, Yersinia strains can be isolated from clinical materials, so they have to be identified at the species level. Y. enterocolitica is a heterogeneous group of strains, which are traditionally classified by biotyping into six biogroups on the basis of phenotypic characteristics, and by serotyping into more than 57 osura groups, on the basis of their olipopolysaccharide, or LPS surface antigen. Five of the six biogroups 1b and 2,5 are regarded as pathogens. However, only a few of these serogroups have been associated with disease in either humans or animals. Strains that belong to serogroups O3 biogroup 4, O527 biogroups 2 and 3, O8 biogroup 1b, and O9 biogroup 2 are most frequently isolated worldwide from human samples. However, the most important Y enterocolitica serogroup in many European countries is serogroup O3 followed by O9, whereas the serogroup O8 is mainly detected in the United States. Y. enterocolitica is widespread in nature, occurring in reservoirs ranging from the intestinal tracts of numerous mammals, avian species, cold-blooded species, and even from terrestrial and aquatic niches. Most environmental isolates are avrulent, however. Isolates recovered from porcine sources contain human, pathogenic serogroups. In addition, dogs, Sheep, wild rodents, and environmental water may also be a reservoir of pathogenic Y. enterocolitica strains. Human pathogenic strains are usually confined to the intestinal tract and lead to enteritis slash diarrhea. Signs and symptoms The portal of entry is the gastrointestinal tract. The organism is acquired usually by insufficiently cooked pork or contaminated water, meat, or milk. In recent years, Y. enterocolitica has increasingly been causing smaller outbreaks via ready-to-eat RT vegetables. Acute Y. enterocolitica infections usually lead to mild self-limiting enterocolitis or terminal elates and adenitis in humans. Symptoms may include watery or bloody diarrhea and fever, resembling appendicitis or salmonellosis or shigellosis. After oral uptake, Yersinia species replicate in the terminal ileum and invade payers' patches. From here, they can disseminate further to mesenteric lymph nodes, causing lymphadenopathy. This condition can be confused with appendicitis, so is called pseudoappendicitis. In immunosuppressed individuals, they can disseminate from the gut to the liver and spleen and form abscesses. Because Yersinia species are siderophilic, iron-loving bacteria, People with hereditary hemochromatosis, a disease resulting in high body iron levels, are more susceptible to infection with Yersinia and other siderophilic bacteria. In fact, the most common contaminant of stored blood is Y. enterocolitica. See Yersiniosis for further details. Treatment Yersiniosis is usually self-limiting and does not require treatment. 
for sepsis or severe focal infections, especially if associated with immunosuppression, the recommended regimen includes doxycycline in combination with an aminoglycoside. Other antibiotics active against Y. Enterocolytic include trimethoprim sulfamethoxacyl, fluoroquinolones, ceftriaxone, and chloramphenicol. Y. Enterocolytic is usually resistant to penicillin G ampicillin and cephalotin due to beta-lactamase production, but multidrug-resistant strains in have been reported in Europe. Prognosis Y. Enterocolytic infections are sometimes followed by chronic inflammatory diseases such as arthritis, erythema nodosum, and reactive arthritis. This is most likely because of some immune-mediated mechanism. Why enterocolitica seems to be associated with autoimmune graves based on thyroiditis. Whilst indirect evidence exists, direct causative evidence is limited. Why enterocolitica is probably not a major cause of this disease, but may contribute to the development of thyroid autoimmunity arising for other reasons in genetically susceptible individuals. Why enterocolitica infection has also been suggested to be not the cause of autoimmune thyroid disease, but rather an associated condition with both sharing a common inherited susceptibility. More recently, the role for why enterocolitica has been disputed, 